On the outside, it looks just like a normal plane, but on the inside, it is the largest, most capable research airplane in Europe. Flying as low as 50 feet and carrying up to 4,000 kilos of instrumentation, it is certainly high risk, a risk these scientists must take in order to gain the best possible research. I'm here at the facility of airborne atmospheric measurement at Manchester Airport at an open day. It is important that events like this take place for the general public to see just exactly what the scientists are doing their research for. Uh, a maximum of 20 seats on board, so there's two pilots at the front, there's a mission scientist who writes a sortie brief the day before, submit that by midday, they put the plan into air traffic so that uh, our plan is NOTAMS, which is a, an aeronautical uh, thing that all aircraft have to do so that people can be aware of where we're going to be flying because we do unusual flying patterns. We can fly from 100 feet above the sea up to 35,000. That's very unusual for an aircraft this size. If this was a passenger aircraft, it would hold 104 people. So you get an idea of the size of the aircraft from that. And you, just by looking down at it, you can see. The aircraft opened its doors to the general public last week to show exactly what goes on behind closed doors, allowing people to experience life inside the aircraft and gain knowledge as to why exactly we need these scientists in the air. Without proper funding for the aircraft and the scientists that work on board, these experiments can't be done and research would be limited. Uh, we need to do calibrations on board, that's what we're using our cylinders for, and we're measuring all the pollution gases like carbon dioxide, methane, we can measure ozone and SO2 as well. Groups were taken on tours throughout the day by the scientists themselves, explaining what some of the most valuable scientific instruments in the aircraft can do. Some were lucky enough to get a hands-on experience dropping a drop sonde from the plane and sitting in the flight deck. Where you're stood is where the mission scientist lives and sits, OK? And he or she runs the whole mission. So they're the most, probably the most important person on the aeroplane, OK? The science crew, consisting of a mixture of university, Met Office and NERC scientists, recently flew over Manchester and Liverpool to test out the city's air pollution. This is just one of the very many different projects these scientists work on to gather measurements for authorities to improve things like air quality. Pien Mullenstein reporting for Keys News.